four, three, two, one. Yeah, what up, peoples? This is Fried Chicken back for a walkthrough. Uh, so, this is a commentary, but yeah, this is a walkthrough. So, let me jump right into it. So, uh, this is C Flag on C Town. Um, obviously, you can enter this room through this window. And I'm just going to be showing some like lines of sight. Um, also, going to be showing some places where you can use your kill streaks. Um, like this fountain is a good place. You can actually prone right in your hair. And unless somebody walks up and looks into the fountain, they won't be able to see you. So, and normally people don't do that. So you can pull up your AC-130 or something like that. Uh, here's another really good line of sight for snipers. It's not going to work unless you have like a cog sight on the assault rifles. But the sniper rifles, nasty spot. Also for uh, launchers. If you want to shoot a launcher in there, somebody's been camping forever. Also, you can even pull back here. And you see how that pillar kind of blocks you from the line of sight from your right. Uh, and you can do sniping either through C or through uh, top restaurant. So, it's just showing some more line of sights here. Um, I'm going to be doing walkthroughs on every map. Uh, I'm kind of weary about promising that just because, I mean, it's not a lot of work, but it is time consuming. And then I have to go through these maps and find stuff too. But you know what? To me, it's fun. And if you guys enjoy it, uh, please leave me feedback. Let me know if you want to see the rest of the series. If you want me to stop after this one, put that in the comments. You know what I'm saying? If this is boring to you. So, but, um. So here's some other couple spots in Top Restaurant where you can just kind of prone behind these tables and use your kill streaks. Don't camp right here, okay? I'm not these not camping spots. Uh, this is so you can use your kill streaks. Uh, you can actually go out on this balcony and prone too, because they really can't see you, and you know you could be using your kill streaks. A lot of people don't even pay attention. So what I like using that window for that I just pop down is when somebody comes in the building, I like to hop out that window and run right behind them. That way, you know, I'm not just in there face to face with them. I can actually just shoot them in the back. And then behind this counter uh, where they take the money for the restaurant and take your reservations and everything, that's a good place to use your kill streaks as well. And this, I was just kind of looking at the view. I wonder where this is. Oh, and if you didn't know, <clears throat> when you, if you jump down in that well, you die instantly. So um, this is a line of sight as well if you're protecting C. Uh, and then right here is a good claymore spot to put right on that ramp uh, going up the stairs. A lot of people run right around that corner or they'll uh, head glitch that corner hoping to pick somebody off at C. And then, obviously, you'll have a claymore right there. So, and I guess you can even prone here, but it's kind of out of the open. Uh, but I don't think a lot of people check it. And then, this is the alternative route to get into this room, if you didn't know that. So, obviously, you can come through those stairs. You can come through the bridge uh, or arcs, upper arcs. But that's a good spot to come in if you know somebody's in there. You don't want to come the obvious ways. So right here, this is where I love to put my Sam turret. Um, and I also like to put a sentry gun here, especially if they're spawning at sea. And then you can even jump on top of this platform and put another sentry gun. So with this platform, it's, it's accessible. You can get to it, but they have to jump over on that uh, walkway, and then they have to jump down to the platform. And by that time, you should have picked them off. They're all out in the open by then. So that's just me doing a little parkour right there. Uh, most people know about this line of sight. Where you can actually... What do they call this? Uh, corner bridge. You can actually just kind of pick people off coming in from C if you got them small trap. And then hanging behind these cages is really nice if somebody's running around that corner. So when you run around the corner, you get right behind those cages. And they'll think they can shoot you in the back. 
But by the time they come around, you got them. Another line of sight protecting B. Right there. And then also if you go prone here, you can actually protect B pretty well. You know, so if you need that win, you triple cap B, then that's what you want to do to uh, get the W. And then if you jump up here and go over, really good spot for Century Gun. Um, for Man Century Gun or Remote Century Gun. Also, you can put them up here on these little canopies or whatever you call these. <laughs> A uh, really good spot to put Sam turrets, sentry guns, all that good stuff. And then you can kind of traverse the top of these. Obviously, it's not a good space to uh, sit and shoot people just because you're completely out in the open. They can see you from top arches and then uh, top building B or B building. So um, this is just me goofing off. Basically, that's a cutoff point. If you have B and you want to cut them off, keep them from going to B, then that's the place you can sit for a couple kills. <clears throat> and then if you ever want to get across to this side without having to go all the way around or go through that window, you can just jump across that corner like I did. So pretty simple stuff so far. These corners are really dark. So for protecting B or for watching your sentry gun, those are good corners to be in. And what am I showing here? This line of sight, getting them uh, off of C, spawn trapping them with these lines of sight is actually a really good idea. And sometimes you can spawn trap. I mean, it's one of those things where that's really how you're supposed to be playing domination. You're supposed to be capping two points, and you're supposed to allow the other team to have the last point. Now, this place, you don't really want to hang out. I mean, you can pull like a predator right there, or you can jump in here and pull your attack helicopter, but you don't want to stay there for too long because people come through this door and they can see you right in front of them and just hit fire you. And then here's another bed you can jump on top of. You know what we do in the boom, boom room. Uh, I don't know why I just said that, but uh, this is also another way you can jump up here. So it's a little bit quicker way than going up on top of the bricks. And like I said, you can jump across. And right here, I was just trying to see if you can get in that window. Because that would actually be pretty cool. If you can jump and get right in that window from there. That would be pretty nice. So if anybody figures out how to do that, uh, please let me know. Please put that in the comments. I'll even try and make a video of it. Make a short clip of it. And then, if anybody have any other secrets on C-Town that I don't know about. Because I don't know about them. I, I walked through this map maybe two or three times. Um, before I got this information. So, I mean, this is another good spot where you can uh, snipe from. And then here's another spot where you can use your point streaks or kill streaks. Uh, right here in this corner. You're pretty much invisible. You sit right there. Unless somebody, you know, comes around that corner and they're actually looking for you. Um, so, those are some basic spots. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> These are easy spots, but uh, you don't get a lot of traffic on Corner Bridge. And if you do stand right there, they're going to be coming from the restaurant. And then fried chicken. Um, they not fried yet, but at least I killed them. I got to take off the feathers later. And then uh, go ahead and take out all the giblets. And then I'm going to cook those chickens, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to put it down. Brother got to eat, right? So obviously you can come up this ladder into this uh, top computer room, um, which is kind of nice. And then here's another spot where you can uh, pull your kill streak or point streak award and bottom computer room. And then if you get thirsty from uh, gaming all the time, you can actually grab... Uh, something to drink so but keep in mind if you go behind the counter in the computer room where they take the money for the for using the internet then you are visible if somebody comes into the room and they actually take the time to kind of scan that area but other than that this is a walkthrough um, for C-Town 
like I said, let, let me know if you guys even want to see the rest of the walkthroughs for the rest of the maps or if you just want me to stop here. But uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and give me a like on the video if you like this.